and everybody who asks you where is the evidence of your being a Christian this week may my God start answering them not next week this week may my God start answering them oh may the mighty God arise for you arise for your children arise for your family The Lord wants me to speak to the men. There are spirits that have tied men in many families so that they will not rise. It's like the men become the women and the women are the men. They have to depend on the women to feed. I'm seeing at least eight people with this case. Right now the fire of God is coming on all those men. Inside, outside, everywhere. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Every man be delivered now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every altar tying down men, tying down destinies. Give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me prophesy recovery. You have lost money. You have lost friends. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You mishandled favorable opportunities and it slipped your hand. Is there hope for a tree even if it be cut short? The Bible says at the scent of water. I want to speak over your life in the name of jesus i have been commanded to bless therefore i decree and declare everything that has left your life and is not by divine orchestration i call it back now finances be restored relationships be restored spiritual fire be restored In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Hear me. Everything that has tied you. That came from your physical paternity. Limitations that came from your biological father. Biological mother. Or your physical territory. I stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic i break you from it now help them please i break you from it now i break you from it now i break you from it now In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the ministry of fire that everyone under any captivity, in the name of Jesus Christ, by this sign that God has given, may the Lord himself begin to bring them out now. Bring them out now. Please help the ushers. Oppression comes to an end by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I, I already sense fire. Matesh Alikapa. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And every spirit that has oppressed your life is about to jump out of your life. Are you ready now? I decree and declare that at the count of three, every spirit, witchcraft, every manipulation connected to bloodline, you must let God's people go now. Are you ready? One, two, 
three shout Jesus lift your destinies now lift your destiny apakatos ketebata krebegetos kebetos kata prakatos ketebeleka out of their lives now out of their destinies now please bring them out very quickly bring them out very quickly let me talk to those outside not the other overflows just outside those outside i want you to lift your hands i want to pray for you the lord is showing me something i want to pray for those outside right now lift your hands at the count of three those outside i want you to shout the name jesus and as you shout that name jesus the hand of the lord is going to come on a few people and there will be massive deliverance just the overflow outside as i count three i want you to shout jesus one two three shout jesus I want you to carry those outside and bring them to the front by the spirit of the living God. God is doing a very marvelous work in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, the gift that the Lord has put within you, I stir it up by the anointing and I declare, may it bring you profit in. 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 Your enemies will not see your back. Your enemies will not see your face. Their plans will end as vanity. But as for you, the Lord is your lifter. He will lift your head. He will give you speed. No delay. No retrogression. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Advance progress in destiny locate me let my portion in life my portion in destiny locate me someone pray in your prayer is your miracle in your prayer is your miracle let my portion let my portion locate me by the spirit of grace hallelujah now hear me hear me God is a God of portions that means it is never God's idea for you to be a slave under someone forever you can start and learn but eventually God gives you your space it's called Rehoboth God has given up and this also means territorial establishment are we together now yes for a time period you are allowed to stay in a place that is not your own but with time when the god of portion visits you this is what happened to jacob jacob was in the house of laban it was not supposed to be forever but laban used divination and found out that joseph had been that um jacob it was because of jacob's presence he was increasing and he refused to let jacob go change wives did all change his wages and kept that man for over 20 years anybody coming in the spirit of laban do not allow you have your space in life and destiny stopping that word rehoboth from becoming your reality you dig a well and the philistines come to cover it you dig a well and they come to cover it may my god give you your space in life in destiny in your home in your business i say it again the god of portions may he give you your own space do you believe this prayer now look at me please when jesus was about to have what we call the triumphant entry the bible tells us that he sent his disciples he said go to a street whose roads divide watch this you will see a colt tied there that no man including the owner had ridden on there are people who are caretakers of certain things it is not for them it was supposed to pass through them but the spirit of laban says it will not pass it will remain i pray for you anyone carrying any colt that you should use for your triumphant entry 
triumphant entry in business, in marriage, in family, in ministry, and is refusing to allow that call get to you, I pray for you. May it be released now. May it be released now. Go to a street, whose, a road whose streets divide, and you will see a cold. There are monies God gave men that is not for them. He made them prosper unusually in the business, not because of their transactional prowess. He knew that somebody, there are people today who have built properties they don't know why. That property is not just claiming people's things. This is not what I'm saying. Listen, please look up. Let me teach you something. There are two ways God blesses people. He blesses people by making you Abraham or he blesses you by making you Lot. Are we together? Not everyone will receive the mandate directly from God, but everyone can be the partaker of the mandate. If you are Lot and you are trying to prosper by being Abraham, you will die hungry. God called Abraham, but Lord said, I can still partake of it. Are we together now? So you need to know whether you are Abraham or Lot. If you are Abraham, your mandate is to be faithful with what you have received because there is a Lot who is at the mercy of your obedience. If you are Lot, you must discern so that you do not break the relationship with Abraham because your prosperity is tied to your discernment. The first decision Lot took outside of Abraham's influence landed him in Sodom and Gomorrah. That means his prosperity was not a function of his wisdom. He was under a grace of Abraham. Hear what I'm telling you. There are many of you who, if God is to allow you learn all the business principles by yourself and start prospering, it may be till 2030 before you prosper. But he brings you after the order of Lot. It is one of the ways he redeems time by giving men favor. Because it takes time to learn the genuine secrets that produce lasting wealth. And the truth is that there are people who have gotten born again late before they now begin to learn these principles. A woman of 70 years, where is she going to learn 25 principles for prosperity? She's made the mistake she did not maximize destiny. But is God still a God of mercy? So God will bring Abraham to her. And she needs to have the wisdom of Lot. If you are Abraham, I am telling you, be faithful in hearing God. Because Lot, there are many Lots that are depending on your obedience. But if you are Lot, swallow your pride and honor Abraham. Because if you fight with Abraham, that is the end of your prosperity. The same Abraham that fought with Lot was the one who had to come and save Lot. And even in doing that, he lost his wife. You know what it means to lose your wife? The basis for your productivity. Pharaoh said, let the men go, but the women and children should remain. That means the men would die of old age, of natural cause, and there would not be a transgenerational, there would not be continuity. Are we together? Please listen to what I'm telling you. I'm speaking to you prophetically. There are some of you right now, by the mercy of God, and because of the covenant God had with your parents, instead of taking 10 years to start learning the principles, the truth is that time has gone. You already have five children. Before you learn all the rudiments, so what God does as an act of his mercy is he will let you hear when he's speaking to Abraham. As Abraham moves, you come as Lot. Provided you can be faithful, a day will come. You will not even know who God spoke to and who God or who is following. The mistake. Do you know the trouble between Abraham and Lot started from their men, not them? Their men. Train the people around you to know why the anointing is in your life. So that they do not, you don't lose the anointing and lose favor. I don't know why the Spirit of God is speaking this through me. I'm speaking to the entire globe. Listen to me. There are people right now, the reason why you will lose favor is because of your children. You have not taught your children that the church God planted you in is the reason why God is honoring them. And you are watching them dishonor the vessel that God is using to lift you. Learn from Lot. Remember Lot's wife, but remember Lot too. Two of them have a story to tell. Are we together now? 
Know when you are Abraham and know when you are Lot. Not everybody will be Abraham. You can look unto Abraham, but not everybody will be Abraham. There are people today, God has granted them an unusual grace. They can sit down where they are every year. They can have opportunity to give up to 30 people jobs. And because of your relationship with them, out of those 30 slots, they will give you 3-3 three, three every year. Make sure you don't fight these kind of people. Because the day that happens, that it will be the day your child now just graduates from school and is ready for a job and that door is closed. I pray for someone. Whatever has taken you away from the blessing of Abraham as Lot, may my God, who is your God, bring restoration. May my God, who is your God, bring restoration. Hear me. Everything that has covered your glory so that you are covered Nothing about you can be seen. Makadosh Kadia, Embrekete Seketa, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I tear that veil right now. Hear me. Where your physical father cost you, I stand by priesthood to bless you. Anyone by your physical descent, who said it will not be well with you? I stand by the privilege of the apostolic call. I reverse that statement. 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 Anyone who said it will not be well with you, in the name of Jesus. By the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic, I veto that statement and I cancel it. The spirit that makes tomorrow look like yesterday, I curse it from your life. I curse it from your destiny. I say it again. The spirit that makes your tomorrow to look like yesterday, I curse it from your life. I curse it from your destiny. I'm still praying for you. Everybody speaking evil in the ears of your helper that before you get to your helper a wrong word has already reached before you before you get there people who would have helped you and lifted you because someone sent by hell said something to them i pray for you every counsel of ahitophel by the power of prophecy it dies right now it dies right now over your life your business your family it dies right now in the name of jesus christ Please be sensitive, you are not wasting your time. Hallelujah. When Joshua led the people of God to defeat Jericho, a curse was placed there. And he said, whoever tries to rebuild this will build it with the blood of his firstborn and complete that building with the blood of the lastborn. And when you read that story, a time came when a nation came to try to rebuild it and exactly what they said happened maybe some of you have made the mistake of Reuben and many things happened to you it may even be inherited troubles but let me prophesy to you let Reuben leave the same way Moses spoke over Reuben and vetoed the prophecy that came he said Reuben Jacob cursed him and said you are my firstborn you are my strength but unstable as the waters you will not excel but Moses said let Reuben leave everyone who has spoken against your life I stand by the prophetic I change that prophecy I change that prophecy I change that prophecy you believe what you are hearing I change that prophecy whoever caused you I bless you whoever said you will not rise I speak rise Whoever said Nigeria will not favor you, I change that prophecy. Whoever said you will beg till old age, 
I change that prophecy. Whoever said your children will only eat from strangers, I reverse that prophecy. Let Reuben leave. And let his men not be few. The spirit of smallness that never allows you to expand, experiencing the faithfulness of God, I decree and declare, may your hands be open for more. May your mind be open for more. May your relationships be open for more. I say it again, may your hand symbolizing your productivity be open for more. May your mind be open for more. May your relationships expand for more. Anyone waiting for your downfall will spend their lifetime waiting. Because as for you, the Lord is your glory and is the lifter up of your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will soon sit down. But every attack on the works of your hands, you will be mistaken to imagine that everybody is clapping for you when you should be receiving an upload. I pray for you. Anyone praying in the secret or in the open for your downfall so they rejoice. For you to go down in ministry, in business. I pray they will not only be disappointed, they will be the victims of their plot. Oh, may the curse of Haman come upon them. That the pit they dug for you, they fall into it. The Bible says, when Haman dug a pit, preparing to bury Mordecai, that same night, the king could not sleep. Whoever needs to wake up by God, so that they will avert the destructions that have been plotted over your life, your business, your ministry, your family. By all means, may the Lord of peace raise them and bring them for your rescue. Hallelujah. I feel like prophesying remembrance over someone. You have been part of the success story of many people, but you have not eaten from it. You are used many people today. They cannot finish saying their story without your contribution. Yet the reward has not come to you. I pray for you. May the book of remembrance be open. May the book of remembrance be open. May you be rewarded like Mordecai. May you be rewarded like Joseph. Rewarded like Mordecai. Rewarded like Joseph. Rewarded like Mordecai. Rewarded like Joseph. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Every parent here. The spirit waiting for you to bury your children. In your lifetime. We decree and declare that spirit is far from your habitation. Far from your habitation. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you tired of receiving? The Bible says, with wisdom are riches, wealth, and honor. It takes wisdom to be wealthy, but it takes strength to remain wealthy. It says strong men retain wealth, not just wise men. It takes wisdom to be wealthy. But it takes strength, capacity above the forces that attack you, capacity above the spirits that vow that you will not have longevity of impact. Let me pray for someone. Everything you are holding now, given to you by God, 30 years after now, you will still be holding it. Every honor God has placed on your name. 30 years from now, that honor will still remain. That proverb, Ichabod, will never be heard in your dwelling, never be heard in your ministry, never be heard in your business, never be heard in your family. In the name of Jesus. Alando Salika Prahosiata. 
one final prayer i don't know who needs to hear what god is doing in your life so that they partner with you to rise can i tell you it matters that men hear what god is doing in your life because that is how they will come to support you there is a hear ye him anointing that can sound the works of God through your hands to those that matter. Not everybody needs to hear, but there are kings, there are gatekeepers, there are captains of industry, there are people with the influence to help you. I pray for you, the same angels that heralded the arrival of Jesus, may they announce his good works in your hands, may they announce his anointing on your life, may they announce your business to the nations. I speak over you in the name that is above all names according to first corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 second corinthians 9 and 8 it says and god is able to make all grace abound whether you are in business in ministry politician captain of industry an entrepreneur whatever i decree and declare every dimension of grace it will take for your life to command fearful results in this season may that anointing rest on you in this season may that unction rest upon you rest upon your business rest upon your ministry rest upon your family rest upon your children rest upon your spouse rest upon the works of your hands in the name of jesus i speak over your life no going down I say it again, no going down. The power that fights your remaining goes down for your sake. The power that fights your reputation goes down for your sake. The power that fights your testimony goes down for your sake. It will be good news all the days of your life. From one stride after another, one result to another, you will never plateau in life, you will never plateau in destiny. In your finances, go forward. In your relationships, go forward. Your prayer life, go forward. Fasting, go forward. Your word study, go forward. In character, go forward. In the name of Jesus. Extraordinary wisdom, let it rest upon you. The power of the Holy Ghost, causing you to walk in extraordinary dimensions, let it rest upon you. Hear me, wealth by your value and wealth by favor through relationships. This double sworded, this, this two edged sword of wealth by relationships and by value, let it gravitate towards you. Men will arise to help you, arise to help your children. And hear me, every spirit assigned to cut short your life. I decree and declare both the human and spirit agents they go down for your sake may the lines fall for you in pleasant places I place a mark of favor upon your head I place a mark of honor upon your head destroyers are far from your destiny wasters are far from your destiny your enemies will keep seeing you rise in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that favor meets with you this week. Breakthrough meets with you this week. In the name of Jesus. The grace for prayer is evidently upon you. The grace for the study of the word is evidently upon you. Your life will reflect that of a believer. Good news for you this week. I say it again. Good news for you this week. Coming from every quarter. National and international in the name of jesus your helpers arrive speedily your helpers arrive speedily the ears of your helpers are open to hear your cry in the name of jesus you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the country receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now higher spiritual dimensions receive it right now Higher prophetic dimensions. Shapakatos kata. Ebratos esenemekata. Receive it right now. The spirit of revelation. 
at a higher dimension receive it right now downloaded to your spirit man concerning ministry concerning business concerning family concerning your career the strategy for the next season receive it in the name of Jesus do you believe what you're receiving let me forbid the spirit of death and then speak divine protection are we together our world is full of evil it's everywhere but the Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem let me pray for everyone here any car you will enter where you will never return home again any aircraft you will enter that will be the end of your life any journey you would take that will not allow you to return home I call upon the God of my covenant let it be stopped forever I say it again any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home huh? anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life may God give you discernment we release angels to be on assignment in the name of Jesus Christ you are preserved from the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday I declare none shall come to your dwelling my final prayer for you right now is concerning your spiritual life that means your prayer life that means your word study life that means your passion for the things of God that means your character I pray for you by all means be as spiritual as you should be that means be as prayerful as you should be as word compliant as you should be as transformed as you should be men and women of character by the spirit doing exploits for the kingdom everything that represents slumber spiritual laziness laxity death of your prayer life your communion with God I declare be delivered from it now no delay no retrogression go forward go forward go forward advance progress in destiny name of Jesus whatever has silenced your influence so that your voice will not be heard I call upon the God of my covenant may you be heard from today may you be heard from today let the ends of the earth hear you let the ends of the earth hear you my assignment tonight is to threaten that which keeps you down that has vowed that your voice will not be heard John said I am the voice of one crying he was heard when Jesus came he was heard one of the things they tried to do to the early apostles was to shut their voice so that they will not it's not only men businesses have voices ministries have voices you can be active and sincere but if that sound in the spirit is not heard your relevance will also die with you I say it again the spirit that is shutting your voice I came by the road of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus that silence comes to an end everywhere your finance is for this season can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing in the name of Jesus anyone who is in a financial situation now I give you one month by prophecy may the God of all grace bring you out of it now I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God we extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey.
and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.